My name is Lisa, a working mom employed as a clerk at a certain trading company. I live happily with my husband, Noah, and our daughter, Madison. On this day, Wow, I can't believe it's finally time for my Comingo Fidge ceremony debut. Yeah, and it's also the day of your drinking debut. Oh, Noah, you keep going on about that. But you wouldn't even drink with me when you turn 20, right? Once the Comingo Fidge ceremony is over, it means you're a full fledged adult, doesn't it? So come on, let's have a drink together. But I wonder, will the Comingo Fidge ceremony always be an event for 20 year olds? I'm not sure. Some places seem to have it at 18. Hey, are you ignoring me? I like that the Comingo Fidge ceremony is like a mini reunion, so I prefer it to stay at 20. Yes, if you do it during high school, it just seems like a school event. Yeah, it's not the same if everyone can't gather around and drink alcohol. Dad, you sound like you'd throw a drinking party if it was at 18. I, I don't think so. Oh. High school students can have a blast with just soft drinks. It would be a waste to rely on the momentum of alcohol during such a precious time. Then, since being 20 is similar, I don't need to drink alcohol yet, right? No, you've got to drink when you're 20. You can't go on without it. That's not true. Noah, if you keep pestering, I'm going to get angry soon, okay? Uh, it would be futile even if Lisa got angry. Right now. I'm intoxicated by the fine wine of our daughter going to her combing gofage ceremony. Madison, can you fill the bathtub with water? Okay. I'll prepare some ice-cold water. Both of you, what on earth are you planning to do? Madison has grown up in the blink of an eye and is looking forward to her Comingovich ceremony this year. One day, Aiden, her younger brother-in-law, and his wife, Ellie, came to visit. And that's how Dad keeps pestering me. Ha, huh, it's tough for you too, Madison. No, no, it was tougher for me, you know. Oh, didn't you enjoy the cold bath, saying it was also training? He he he, I can just picture that scene in my mind. Hey, are you saying that's how you imagine me? Ah, uh, brother-in-law, are you just realizing that now? If anything, that might be the only image we have of you. What? No way. My image is a reliable and cool older brother is. I'm sorry, but I don't think that image ever existed. Brother-in-law, cheer up, please. This is about my younger brother Aiden and his wife Ellie, but to be honest, I found Ellie a bit difficult to deal with. Let me explain. Hey, what was with that dish today? It wasn't tasty at all. Oh, I'm sorry it didn't suit your taste. I seasoned it the way Aiden likes it, but maybe I got it wrong? Ugh, what is that? So annoying. Your whole I know Aiden so well act is seriously lame. Okay, okay, hopefully next time you'll be able to make such seasoning yourself. Excuse me? Are you lecturing me? And besides, I totally know what flavors Aiden likes. It seems that Ellie doesn't like the fact that Aiden and I are close, and when it's just the two of us, she often makes snide remarks. I've been tolerating it and letting it slide, making sure no harm comes to Noah or Madison. A few weeks later, on the eve of the Comingofidge ceremony. Tomorrow is finally the Comingofidge ceremony. I'm so excited. Me too, me too. I can't wait to finally have a drink with Madison. Speaking of which, Madison, Aiden said he's coming to celebrate too. Really? Uncle Aiden is coming? Yay. Aha. Uh -huh. In that case, I guess I'll take lots of pictures of Madison. Madison, you have to get up early tomorrow, so why don't you go to bed now? That's a good idea. Good night, mother. Hey, what does taking pictures have to do with alcohol? Tomorrow is finally Madison's Comingovich ceremony, and mother has planned to help her get dressed. Thus, our family was eagerly looking forward to the big day. And then, on the day of Madison's Comingovich ceremony. Oh, a phone call, hello? You sure pick up the phone quickly, big sister. Got nothing else to do? Ellie! If you don't have anything important to say, I'll hang up. Oh, really? Even when your precious daughter's ceremonial kimono smells strongly of savory soy sauce? What are you talking about? Huh? Understand it the first time. I soaked Madison's kimono in soy sauce. Wah! You soaked the kimono in soy sauce? Ha! Huh, serves you right. This is what you get for being all over Aiden. Even though you have nothing going for you, Aiden keeps calling you big sister, big sister. It's disgusting. Even if you say that, I... Oh my, poor...
Poor Madison. All because of her mother, she can't wear her special kimono. Wait. You really soaked it in soy sauce. Yes. It has a very savory smell now. And the kimono is brown too. What? What have you done? You get this for always looking down on me. Truly serves you right. So, how does it feel knowing that your daughter can't attend her kamingafage ceremony because of you? Ah ha ha Ellie was laughing uproariously over the phone about having soiled Madison's ceremonial kimono with soy sauce. However, it seemed that Ellie had made a mistake, so. Ellie, can you calm down and listen? Madison has already finished getting dressed, and she's attending the kamingafage ceremony right now. Huh. What are you talking about? Has the shock messed with your head? The kimono is right here, so how can you say she's already dressed? Yes, I knew you wouldn't believe me. No, 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 it's not about believing or not, I'm just not fooled by such an obvious lie. Maybe you wanted to say something back, but, even so, you could have come up with a better lie, you know? No, it's not a lie. Oh, I know, how about a video call? There, how about this? Huh? Fat Hat is indeed the Kamingdafidge ceremony venue, but... Wait, what? Did you leave Madison behind and attend the ceremony yourself? No, no. Look, you can see Madison there, can't you? Eh, what? Why is Madison there? Anyway, that's how it is. I'm sorry, but I have to hang up now since the ceremony is going on. Upon realizing that Madison had already been dressed, Ellie was astonished. And after the ceremony ended and they returned home with Madison. No way. Madison's really wearing the kimono. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing it, but... That's what I told you on the phone. No, I thought you were using some new IT technology or something to make it look like she's wearing it. Why would we do that? So, that means I wouldn't be prancing around in my underwear, right? What are you all talking about, so? Well, what's with this kimono? This can't be. Is this soy sauce? And so much of it. Ah, uh, no, wait, this isn't what it looks like. There's an explanation for this. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, work ran late. But what's with the atmosphere? Ah, uh, Madison, congrats on your kamingafage ceremony, but, wait, what's this? That kimono, it's your daughter's. Eh, you mean, Rinka's kimono? Why is Rinka's kimono stained all brown like this? Hey Ellie, what on earth happened? No, this is like, um, sort of a sad accident, or... Ellie purposely dirted it with soy sauce. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, ha. Come on, sis-in-law. There's no way I'd do something like that, right? Everyone except Ellie was at the Kamingafitch ceremony, and you were the only one at home. And you were kind enough to call during the ceremony, weren't you? I even recorded it, thinking I'd call you back later, here, this is from that time. As I played the recording, Ellie's face turned bright red. Don't mess with me. Why are you playing that? With this, everyone will know I dirted it on purpose. You're the one messing around here. Doing such a spiteful thing to my sister. Because of this, Rinka's kimono is ruined. What have you done? Bubit. I didn't know this was Rinka's. In the first place, why is Rinka's kimono here when her kamingafage ceremony is next year? It's weird that it's already prepared, isn't it? The kimono shop we've been friends with since long ago is closing soon. The kimonos they had left were quite fancy. So, I bought one while I could. This might not come out completely clean, even with dry cleaning. This is all my sister-in-law's fault. If you had told me this was Rinka's, none of this would have happened. Hey, don't mess around, you were planning to do this to Madison's kimono, right? And now you're saying this failure is Lisa's fault when you're already boiling with rage? Enough with the nonsense. You're the only one at fault here. Rinka chose this kimono herself when I took her to the kimono shop. I went with them too. Rinka was really looking forward to wearing it. No way. Rinka chose this. Well, what do I do? Will this come out with dry cleaning? I've had enough. You only think about yourself dirtying others things and not apologizing. Even in that recording, you were making fun of my sister. I'm done with you, we're getting a divorce today, and I'm taking custody of Rinka. With his shoulders trembling in anger, Aiden declares this, and Ellie. Eh. Wah, wait. Eh, divorce? This has to be a joke, right? 
divorce over something like this. Something like this? After trampling all over my family's feelings, you say something like this. I can never get along with someone who doesn't even understand what she's done. I will absolutely divorce you. Wah! Really? Divorce? This is all your sister-in-law's fault. If it weren't for you, this wouldn't have happened. I'm holding you responsible. Pay me compensation. What are you talking about? This is all your own doing. It has nothing to do with me. Rather, I should be the one wanting compensation for all the nasty things you've said. And you'll have to reimburse me for this kimono, too. You money-grubbing people. Fine. Once we're divorced and I get the compensation, I'll pay you. Do you really think that women always get compensation in a divorce? Huh? Think or not, that's the rule, isn't it? No, in this case, you're the one who has to pay, Ellie. What? Stop kidding. It's common sense for the man to pay. That's only because it's often the man who causes the divorce, right? In this case, you're the one causing the divorce. You're what's called the culpable spouse here. Huh? What are you saying? I'm a woman, you know? There's no such thing as the woman being at fault in a divorce, okay? It's natural for the man to pay compensation, you know? You're saying that because you're strapped for cash, aren't you, Ellie? Hey, Aiden, there are so many debt collection notices here. Did you know about this? What is this? Are all these ridiculous envelopes collection notices? Bah. No. You can't look at those. Ellie, it seems you were borrowing from multiple consumer finance companies. For some reason, the notices were sent to your parents' house, maybe to keep Aiden from finding out? When mother-in-law showed me these, thinking it might be a new kind of scam, I was shocked. If you add all these up, you could buy a decently priced car, right? It's one thing for the collection notices to come to our house. What I can't forgive above all is that you were pinning all of this on Aiden. What on earth were you doing? borrowing this much money. As mother pressed Ellie, she seemed to give in. Enough to buy a car, huh? Hee <laughs> hee, maybe I use that much. I poured that money into foreign exchange margin trading, commonly known as Forex. What? Why did you get involved? I told you to stay away from it. Well, Aiden, you said we could live more luxuriously if we had more money. So, I tried to help. What's wrong with that? The result is this massive debt. I stopped you because I knew this would happen. Ha, huh, how conservative. If you want to grab a fortune, you have to challenge yourself. Giving up without even trying is foolish. I don't want to hear that from someone who's drowning in debt from her challenges. What's this about a little money? You're thinking small. I was dealing with tens of millions, even billions. Compared to that, this is like a rounding error. Oh boy, leverage, and you used a pretty high ratio. Uh. What's leverage? Is it bad? Essentially, it lets you borrow money just for trading. If you win, you win big, but if you lose, it hurts. You! You're still doing it, aren't you? Of course, if I don't settle, the profits and losses aren't final, so I haven't lost. My grand comeback is just starting. So, there's a lot of debt that's not yet confirmed? That's correct. Although there's a system that possibly settles to prevent that. I wouldn't use such a coward system. I'm battling with a completely new system that doesn't have forced loss cutting. Isn't that from a sketchy company? Don't mess around. You're just gambling by stacking debt on debt. I've decided I'm not only divorcing you, but I'm also seeking damages. Fine. When I win at Forex, I'll deposit it for you. Who knows when that'll be? I want payment right away. That's impossible. I don't have that kind of money. You've sown this seed yourself, so you'll have to deal with it. I know you were bad-mouthing mom behind her back. I'll never forgive you. Eh, wait, you're not really going to abandon me, are you? After all we've been through as a family, you'll just throw me away? It's not throwing away, it's removing a cancer cell. Reflect on what you've done and what you've said. You'll have plenty of time alone from now on. Wait, don't leave me alone. Don't worry, you'll always have your debt with you. You're not alone. Just stay away from us forever. Bye, B. But, without funds, I can't win at Forex. And so, grumbling to herself, Ellie left for her parents' home. Afterwards, Aiden divorced Ellie, and with the help of a lawyer, we demanded various payments from her. 
Ellie, who had to take out a loan to pay the full amount, found herself with no reputable consumer finance companies left and faced with paying exorbitant interest every month. Thus, Ellie Ch burdened with debts that she might never be able to pay off in her lifetime, forced to endure difficult days filled with nothing but work, whether awake or asleep. As for us. Yahoo! I can finally drink with Madison. Ah, uh -huh. are you really that happy about it? It's been his dream for a long time, so let's indulge him today. I've prepared a variety, but, Madison, what kind of drink would you like? Mm oh, this sweet sake too. Madison, sweet sake is classified as an unalcoholic beverage, definitely not alcohol. Oh, uh, I was just curious, that's all. Starting with a sweet cocktail might be easier to drink. Well then, since we have the opportunity, shall we try making various things? Ed making them. Oh, there's a bartender-like set. In that case, master, I'll have the usual, please. All right, all right, just wait a moment. The usual might end up being barley tea or something. Since then, we've been enjoying lively days once again. On this particular day, Noah had been pestering Madison for alcohol almost every evening, so we decided to drink at our parents' house. Despite everything, Mother seemed to be looking forward to it and had prepared everything, including a shaker. Coming to this home bar for drinks now and then might be quite enjoyable. And so, we spent our time savoring delicious cocktails, relishing in some grown-up moments.